If you guys are looking to buy some cheap and reliable MT, head on over to AOLA.com and use code YBC at checkout for a discount. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I am back. Bring another video, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys a gameplay with the brand new Flash Galaxy Opal Yao Ming. Before we hop into it and everything, if you guys could do me a real quick favor and drop a like on this video, that would be greatly, greatly, and I mean greatly appreciated, guys, because the stuff I went through to get this card right here to get a gameplay with him was insane. Hopping straight into it right here, as you guys can see, we have this brand new Yao Ming card. And when it comes to the process of which it took me to get this card right here, guys, I opened up 1 million MT worth of packs this morning and didn't get anything. And then when he finally expired off the auction block, guys, I did pay 900,000 MT for this card right here. Now, granted, guys, I am on PC, so the price in the auction block is a little bit different than PS4, but still, it took me nearly 2 million MT in total for me to get this Yao Ming card. Now, when it comes to me running him on my squad, guys, I'm going to be running him right here at the power four position alongside Shaq at the center position. Throughout the entire year, guys, people have been cheesing me all year long running a tall lineup of like Ben Simmons and Taco Fall and Bo Bo, and I'm gonna give him some payback, guys. I'm putting Yao Ming right here at the power four position because as you can see right here, he has a half power forward and half center. So based off of that note now, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this man's badge and attributes and then we'll hop into the gameplay. As he's standing at seven foot six, the second tallest player in this game next to Bobo, weighing at 310 pounds, coming with a grand total of 51 badges, four to one of them being a Hall of Fame and 10 of them being on gold. I'm gonna be naming off the most important Hall of Fame badges that 2K gave him, which are Hall of Fame brick wall, catch and shoot corner special, difficult shots, tireless shooter, Hall of Fame quick draw, ice and veins, hot start, rip protector, chase artist, box, hot zone hunter, D leader, Heart Crusher, Interceptor, Intimidator, Remachine, Rebound Chaser, Pogo, Stick, Tireless Defender, Worm, Contact, and Consistent Finisher, Flexible Release, and Deep Phase. Moving on right here to the 10 goals he has come with. Quick First Step, Bailout, Gold Clamps, Pickpocket, Dimer, and that's going to do it for most important gold badges. Moving along right here, taking a look at this man's attributes. 2K gave him an 83 driving layup, 98 post fade, post hook, and post moves. 99 close shot, 98 mid range, 84 three point, 95 free throw, 98 standing duck, and an 85 driving duck. He also does come with right here a 60 ball handle, in which is a lot less of an attribute than last year, guys. 2K gave like Yao Ming last year like a 70 something ball handle, which was crazy. His defense is on point, guys. 88 block, 80 steal, 77 perimeter D, and a 98 interior defense. 98 rebounding across the board for this man right here, and wrap it all up. 71 speed, 64 field ball, 98 stamina, 77 lateral quickness, 95 D, and 98 offensive consistency. And a quick shoot on right here, guys. Right before we hop into the gameplay, take a look at this man's jump shot and hot zones. As hot zone pretty much from everywhere on the court except for the right wing area and the top of the key three point area. Take a look at this man's jump shot. That jump shot is a very, very similar jump shot to Yao Ming's prior jump shot in previous 2Ks. It's pretty much like, guys, the exact same thing. It's honestly kind of, it's, it's mid to time. It's not really, really hard, but then again, guys, it's not really easy. It's a mid type of release. Not a good one, not a bad one. It's just all right. As you guys can see right here, I'm just simply breaking everything pretty much I take with Yao Ming due to myself being on PC. As I mentioned, guys, I am on PC and I'm still getting used to the shot timing. That right there, guys, is a green light. So now without further ado, guys, I know we went over pretty much everything about this card. Now let's hop into the gameplay and see what we can do on the court. High pick and pop action right here between Yao Ming and Luka Doncic. We're going to be running a lot of pick and pop between Yao Ming because he has that nice three ball. Good screen. He's actually rolling right here. Yao Ming going all the way with a weird flashy dunk animation. That looks very weird coming from Yao Ming because he's seven foot six. Oh, good defense. Luke with the steal. Up to Yao. Yao Ming trying to spin off of Giannis. What a nice move and layup inside. Yao Ming going to work early. That's a steal. Oh, 2K. Now let me get that passing lane animation. Come on, 2K. Yeah, let me get that one. Six seconds left. Lock up. Five, four. Giannis, four, three. I tried getting through that screen. That's a great screen. It is off, though. Four by Shaq. Shaq right here getting up to Yao Ming. Yao Ming right here attacking the paint. Trying to attack the paint right here with a full head of steam. Going all the way. Drawing a foul. Nearly getting into and one. That right there was a very wild foul that my opponent did commit. We're going to be sent to line right here. When it comes to Yao Ming's free throws, they're very easy to time. It's just it's just a regular generic release as we do get it early on the first one right there. But it does it does go in. And the second one right here is up and much better time and money as well. Oh, good thing Yao Ming on the new ball. And he gets the board. Yao Ming doing it on both ends of the floor. Yao Ming now trying to attack the paint to Shaq run the floor. Shaq. Back out to Luka in the corner, wide open 4-3, Luka's shot is no good. Wow, I can't believe 2K not let me, get, did not reward me for that great defensive possession. My opponent right now, guys, is just simply making every single white bar that he does shoot. He is not green one shot yet, and he's getting very lucky. We're going to have a nice pick and roll between Yao and Luka. Yao mid-range area actually going to go to the post right here. 
on that munchkin needs a munchkin needs a baby. I don't know why you're post fading, but that post fade is good. Even though my opponent right there jumped in the face of Yao Ming, he only got like a 5% contested on that shot. That is crazy. That's good defense. No reward that goes in. Let's go grab it. Boy by Wiggins to Yao Ming down the court. And I'm stopping. And I'm pulling 4 3. Bang! Yao Ming with some big boy nuts. 3 not 3 on a fast break. And we take a charge. Let's go. Great charge right there by my boy Luke. Our team right now is doing their thing at the end of this first quarter. As with 18 seconds left right here, guys, I am going to be holding on to the ball for the last shot of this first quarter. I'm going to run a high pick and roll right here, guys, between Yao Ming and Luka right now. Good screen up top by Yao and slip. Yao Ming slipped to the bucket, trying to hop step and go all the way. No foul. Okay, no foul needed. Yao Ming makes a 20% contested crazy layup. Even though it should have been a higher contested than that. We're going to lock up right here, guys, with a few seconds left. It looks like my opponent paused in the game, and he has actually left this game right here. I honestly don't really know why he left the game. The game was close. But anyways, guys, right here, we're going to move along right here to game number two in this video. He did quit in the first quarter, so we're going to hop into another game with this Opal Yao Ming card. I'm going to run right here, a high pick and roll right here between Yao Ming and Luka. Good screen and slip and roll from Yao, and that layup is good off the glass. This man, Yao Ming, is not going to miss anything when he's, when he's that close to the rim. No way what that goes in. Boy by Mason. Up to Yao Ming. Get up to Yao Ming. Down the court. Yao Ming attacking a paint. Going all the way with another two-handed flashy dunk. And he jumped like three inches in the air to dunk that one home. On a break right here with Shaq. Hop stepping. Shaq out to Yao Ming. Gonna go to work with Yao Ming and try and ISO. Tom Chambers up. Nice move. Attacking a paint. Hop stepping. Going all the way. And somehow, some way, we draw that foul. Let me send to line right here for two more free throws in this gameplay. The first free throw attempts of this game for Yao Ming. The first one is up and money. And the second one right here is up and money as well. Key up to Yao Ming right here, guys, and try and let him attack the baseline with the full head of steam matching Yoda's pose right here on Tom Chambers. Nice move and finish inside. Tom Chambers and Cat have no answer stopping this Yao Ming that deep in the paint. No way no that goes in. Big board, let's go. Shaq with that board. Shh, Luke actually picks up that ball. Up to my boy Mason. Mason right here attacking the paint. One more to Yao Ming. Nice pass. Got Gobert in the air, and that layup is green and good inside by Yao Ming. Oh, good steal by Andrew Wiggins. Let's go. Wiggins on a break right here. Putting ball to court. Up to Yao Ming with three, with two, with one. Yao going all the way. Getting that left to go off the glass. And we're going to end off this first quarter right here. Up by two. Heading into the second as Yao Ming does come up also with that cheesy inbound steal to close off this first quarter. High ping pop action right here between Yao Ming and Luka again right here. Nice screen up top by Yao. Got him on a pop. Wide open for three. Early release. And that goes in. Nice shot by Yao Ming. And indeed, that was a three-pointer right there. Low key, guys, I kind of got nervous it was going to be a long two, but he ended up getting his two feet behind the line. I'll take the three point out his great defense by Yao Ming, sending Kobe stuff to the third row. Oh, that's Rudy Gobert for the mid range. No way. Let's go. Boy by Wiggins up to Yao Ming down the court. Nice pass, and Yao's going all the way again. The nice two handed dunk. Flashy one on that fast break. And with that dunk right there, Yao Ming does have his takeover badge activated, which is glass cleaning. Gonna try to work out with Yao Ming, give him a quick isolation up top on Kobe. Nice move. Nice move again. This man Loki has better animation than that Kobe Bryant card. We're attacking paint right here, going all the way and getting an and one finishing over my boy Kobe. Let's go. Great finish inside by Yao Ming as he does convert the end one, making that free throw. Now we have our first double digit lead of the game at 10 points. Oh, great steal by Yao Ming. Yao Ming going all the way again to the paint with a full head of steam with a nice one handed dunk. All right, guys, we went through the second quarter right here. It looks like my opponent just closed application or something as he has left this match right here. Yao Ming, I guess, was just simply too much for this man. So that right there now, guys, we're going to do it for the gameplay aspect of this video right here. I do apologize about the gameplay aspect being kind of short, but nonetheless, though, guys, Yao Ming saw himself a very solid performance right here in this video, in this gameplay. I believe Yao Ming did finish with, like, around 35-ish points for the game, and he also had, like, around six rebounds. He had himself a very solid performance in these two games combined. Now, moving on to the card review right here for this Opal Yao Ming card. He is a 10 out of 10 card, guys. He is among the best and the elite big man in NBA 2K20, my team. Really, the only flaw in this card right here, guys, is that he does not have rain extender. But considering, guys, that he is 7'6", the second tallest big man in the entire game, he gets a pass on rain extender, in my opinion, when it comes to the card review. So, for that reason, guys, he deserves a 10 out of 10.
This man Yao Ming guys can do pretty much everything else aside from shoot limitless range threes, which you know big men don't really need to do this year in my team anyway. Like, like it's always great for big men to shoot limitless range threes, guys, but it is not a necessity. And if Taco Fall guys in a 10 out of 10 card, in which in my opinion he is, this Yao Ming card right here deserves to be a 10 out of 10 card. And on top of that, guys, before I forget to mention, the man comes with like the cheesiest animations in the game. When it comes to the post, guys, it, it is nearly impossible to get a contest in the post on Yao Ming. As you guys saw in the first game, when I shot that post fadeaway, I was so surprised that it was only like a 5% cover because I feel like the guy jumped in my face and put a hand in my face where I couldn't see the rim. But that right there, guys, was a 5% cover, and that's what, what that's the problem with this Yao Ming card. Not really the problem, but the problem for other players and uh, for my opponent. They can't defend that. So yeah, guys, that right there now is pretty much going to do it for this video right here. I hope you guys did enjoy because I sure did enjoy cheesing with Yao Ming at the power forward position. And if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, drop a like would be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. And as usual, as always, thanks for watching. And it's YBC, and I'm out. Peace.